Okay guys, so while I'm doing some of my favourite sci-fi action films like we just did with the Alien and Predator franchise, I thought I might quickly go over the Terminator films. Uh, so the Terminator is probably my second favourite um, action sci-fi kind of franchise after Alien or Aliens. Um, I'd say it's up there with, yeah, the three of them would probably be Alien, Terminator and Star Wars would be my three favourites. So. Um, we only have six films to go through here, so it'll probably be a quicker video. Um, but yeah, we'll just start through it and knock them down. So first up, we have the original Terminator from 1984. So this is a classic film. Um, James Cameron's first real film after Piranha 2, which, I don't know, some people kind of consider it his first film. I guess it is, but uh, this is really where he kind of came into play and really hit the mainstream. Like, this is a gritty, low-budget dark science fiction thriller it's more of a thriller than an action film like there is action in this movie but it's kind of more of a scary film like a, even a horror film kind of and it really kind of has this really unique um gritty kind of vibe to our early 80s um grungy kind of movie um and it's kind of the role that schwarzenegger was really born to play because to be honest like he's a good actor but he's not incredible but um this role kind of like fits in perfectly though, so he really kind of was at the top of his game in these films. Um, and it's definitely, it's an S tier film. Like some of the, yeah, some of the visual effects don't really hold up as well these days, but the concept of this Terminator coming back in time to take out the future resistance leader, it's, it's just such a cool story. And like he's, he plays such a good villain in this film and it's really cool to see it kind of turn on its head in the next film. But uh, the first film just, by itself it's still an s tier film i know it's not you know most people don't consider it as good as the second film but if you just take it for what it is like it's a really great film it's super entertaining it's original it's fun it's scary it's violent and yeah it's really all you could want from like a mid 80s sci-fi action horror um it does everything so perfectly so moving on to terminator 2 judgment day which as i said most people consider this the top top Terminator movie and just one of the all-time greats. I also um, feel the same way and it's easily an S tier, top of the S tier. Um, I remember seeing this as a like, I don't know, 10 or 11, 12 year old for the first time, just being like blown away because I wasn't allowed to watch the first two when I was younger. I'd only actually seen Terminator 3 was the first one I'd seen. And I loved Terminator 3 when I was a kid uh, and I really wanted to watch the first two. So when I finally got to see them, I was just kind of like blown away by how good these films were. Um, but yeah, Terminator 2 came out back in 1991 and it really like, you can see it ups everything. Like the budget's obviously much bigger so they can do so much more. But the action is awesome. Like it's probably one of the best action films ever made. Like even today it holds up so well. Uh, even the visual effects in the film, which there's not a whole lot of, but what's in there, it still holds up pretty well for a film that's, you know, 30 plus years old now. Um yeah, I love Terminator 2. It's easily one of my top 10 favorite films of all time. Uh, easily the best James Cameron film. Probably one of the best 90s films ever made. Uh, could fit into so many top 10 lists, to be honest. But yeah, it's it's the best. Easily the best. And it holds up better than the, set the first film does as well. Probably because of the budget and what they were able to do uh, on camera. So next up, this is where the... Our franchise kind of takes a dip in quality from here. So you've got the first two films, which are like perfection pretty much. And it never got back to that level, unfortunately. And um, yeah, so next up we have Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. And as I said, I have a kind of affection for this film because it's the one I originally saw and watched a lot as a kid. Um, and I still don't think it's a bad film. I think it's a good sequel to these two movies. It's definitely not in the same um, tier at all. But like for what it is, it's entertaining and it kind of carries the story on in an organic way. Like um, we'll get to the next few films soon, but I think it does a lot better job as a sequel than any of the um, next films did. And Arnold Schwarzenegger just felt right again in the role. Like um, after this film, he just didn't really seem to like they turned him more into a comedic character after this movie. Like I know he gets the one liners and things like that through all of his films, but um, I feel like this he wasn't really a scary character anymore um, or anything to be feared. But yeah, Terminator 3 is probably a B tier, to be honest. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, it's kind of a B-grade movie, I guess. Like, it's it's got it's fine. It's got good action scenes, um, some good performances. You know, Schwarzenegger's really good in the film again. 
Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of Claire Danes or the guy who played John Connor in this one. I think um, Edward Furlong in Terminator 2 did the best job <coughs> um, playing John Connor. But yeah, Terminator 3, for what it is, it's still enjoyable. And it's a pretty decent uh, third film in the franchise. So so now this, this is where the uh, <laughs> everything takes a bigger dip in quality. And we come to Terminator Salvation. So this film I don't really like. Like, I mean... There's some good visual effects, there's some good acting and things like that, but to be honest, this has always been my least favourite film in the franchise. We don't really get Arnold Schwarzenegger either. There's like a weird CG version of him at some point late in the film. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bad movie. I know some people like it, but to be honest, it's an F-tier film for me. <coughs> like Christian Bale, he's one of my favourite actors, but yeah, he's just kind of bland. So Sam Worthington, like they don't really stand out to me as unique characters anymore. And the action's kind of generic and over the top. It's just CG heavy. And um, it was a real disappointment after the original trilogy um, to see a film like this that didn't even have Schwarzenegger in it and just felt bland and like any other kind of uh, B-grade sci-fi action film, unfortunately. So that's where Salvation it doesn't really have anything... It's never really made me want to come back and rewatch it. I'll put it that way. Uh, so coming up to Terminator Genesis. Now this is a film a lot of people also hate. I don't like it either, but I don't think it's quite as bad as Salvation. So I'm going to put it in the D tier. At least we get Arnold Schwarzenegger back in this film. Um, I don't remember much about it. I know it's got Jason Clark and Amelia Clark. Um, <clears throat> and it kind of messes with the timeline of things a bit. Um, but yeah, it wasn't wasn't quite an F tier film, but it's definitely not as good as um, any of the other earlier films. Um, I think the only improvement really making it not an F tier was putting Schwarzenegger back in the main role. Um, yeah, so next up, and last but not least, well kind of least, we have Terminator Dark Fate. So this is also pretty borderline with um, Genesis, maybe slightly better because of the action, so I'm going to put that in D tier. So it's good that we get uh, Schwarzenegger back. We also get Linda Hamilton back as Sarah Connor from the first two films, which is cool. <clears throat> there is some good action scenes early on, especially in this movie, but it kind of just takes a real, <clears throat> I don't know, bad turn partway through and it just gets boring and um, generic and just, I don't know, I feel like they could have done something really cool with this movie, but they didn't. Uh, especially with having James Cameron writing like the story and producing the film, you think they would have come up with something a bit better. But to be honest, it's pretty average and there's not much redeemable about it other than having Schwarzenegger and Hamilton back and some of the cool action scenes, um, only just raising it above Salvation and Genesis a little bit. So that's all six films of the Terminator franchise so far, guys. I'm not sure whether they're planning more or anything like that, but I, yeah, I really don't think... It's necessary, especially after how the last three have fared. Um, but yeah, let me know your ranking down below. I know most of you will probably be similar with the top two because, yeah, um, the original Terminator film and Terminator 2 Judgment Day are like phenomenal. They're like kind of the films that you'd recommend to anyone who, you know, would want to see a science fiction or action film from that era. And Terminator 3 I enjoy, uh, but anything after that was kind of crappy in my opinion, to be honest. So, um, yeah, let me know your ranking down below and please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.